Hi guys, welcome to the Fightish channel. The teams of the current and former United Heavyweight Champions, respectively Ukrainian Alexander Usyk and Britain Andre Joshua, will close the issue of the date and value of the rematch in the next two weeks. The first fight took place last September in London and ended in favor of a boxer from Ukraine, the young and successful British coach Ben Davison. Ex-mentor of the WBC champion in the same way Tyson Fury reflected on the chances of his compatriot in the rematch. I think that with the right tactics Joshua has a chance to win the rematch, but we need not only an excellent plan for the fight, but also appropriate training. The other question is whether I believe in his victory. Probably not, but I will say that I would still like him to win. After all, only in this case we will be able to see the same fight between Fury and Joshua. Davidson was asked about Joshua's chances of becoming an absolute world champion. The mentor's answer. What is the main advantage of Fury? He can do anything. Fight with the first number or from an opponent in a right-handed or a left-handed stance, from a long distance or in infighting. And no one knows what tactics he will choose. No one believed him when he said he was going to push Dante Wilder, and he did it. Anything can happen in heavyweight. And Joshua is not so bad in fighting, and he is good at the middle distance. He combines well. He is powerful, a kicker. But it seems to me that everything depends only on the mood with which Fury enters the ring. If we the right one, then you can't beat him. About the fight Fury vs. Dylan White. About the same as Joshua with Usyk. White has a chance, but do I believe that he will be able to use them? No. White has a good counter hook on the left, which can knock out anyone. This is, he definitely has chances. About the reasons for parting with Fury. It's business. At a time, he wanted to make some changes. And I had many other offers. So breaking up was the best option for both. You know what's interesting. When a coach and the fighter diverge, the offense remains. They often praise each other, but in fact they hope that the other side will decline. And I didn't have that with Fury, I don't have it and I won't have it. We are still communicating and sincerely wish each other victories, and we are grateful to each other for the work done," said Ben Davison. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed and receive notifications about the release of new videos, you do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I am trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. The famous promoter Bob Arum spoke about the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Britain Tyson Fury. He's not going to stay to fight a minor opponent. He would read another big fight for him. He, in my opinion, will accept it without question. It could be a fight with Joshua Rusik. If he's not there, then he's not going to spend time on training and stuff to hold a secondary fight, because at the moment he has enough money. He wants to enjoy life with his family, his wife, he has six children, Aram said. Recall that the title fight between Fury and Dylan White is scheduled to take place on April 23 and take place at Wembley Stadium in London. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.